everyone, Gardener Alley here in the Haynes Garden. Sometimes I'll be sharing videos with you that might not be at your school garden, but it's a fun way to get to see other gardens around Boston and Cambridge. So right now I'm at the Haynes Garden. This might be your school. Today, we're gonna think about living and non-living things in the garden. So what makes something alive? What makes something not alive? We're gonna see if we can find some things that are alive and some things that are not alive. Before we start, I wonder if you have any ideas. What do you think is something alive in the garden? And what do you think is something not alive in the garden? Share your ideas and then we'll go see what we find in the garden. The first thing I wanted to look at is this small plant in the garden. It's an herb you might recognize called cilantro. Do you think the cilantro is alive or not alive? Why? I see it moving a little bit but I think it's just blowing in the wind. I don't think it's moving on its own. I think that the cilantro is alive because I've seen it change over time. It's growing. I planted seeds just a couple weeks ago and now we have these little plants. So I think when something grows and changes, that is evidence that it's alive. I dug around a little bit in one of our garden beds and I found something that I think is alive. What do you see here? It's an earthworm. I see the earthworm moving. What else do you notice about it? I think the earthworm is alive because it's moving and because it seems to be sensing its environment. It's digging around in the dirt. I know that earthworms don't really like the light that much. And it seems like this worm is trying to get farther in the dirt so that it can get away from the light. Let's watch it a little more to see what it does. It's really digging its way into the ground. Here's something else I found in the garden. Do you know what this is? When I pick it up and hold it in my hand, it feels hard and pretty rough. If you said a rock or a stone, you're right. Do you think the rock is alive or not alive? I think that the rock is not alive because I don't see it moving like the worm or growing like the cilantro or changing in any way on its own. Here's a plant in the garden that you might recognize. You might have even eaten these before. Do you know what this is? If you said a tomato plant, you're right. Do you think the tomato plant is alive or not alive? Let's take a look at another part of the plant and I think that will give us a better idea if the tomato plant is alive or not alive. Do you see those small yellow flowers? That's where the tomatoes came from. First they were flowers and then they turned into tomatoes. So now, do you think the tomato plant is alive or not alive? I think the tomato plant is alive because I've seen it grow and change over time. Here is a small shovel or a trowel that we use in the garden. Do you think this is alive or not alive? The handle is plastic and the shovel part is made of metal that's painted white. I think the shovel is not alive. I don't see it moving and I don't see it 
that it has grown or changed over time. Here's one last thing that we'll look at in the garden. What do you see here? If you said a bumblebee, you are right. Do you think the bumblebee is alive or not alive? I think the bumblebee is alive because I see it moving a lot and it also looks like it's eating or drinking. What do you think? Thanks for joining me to look for living and non-living things in the garden. Some of the things we learned about things that are alive, like this bumblebee, are that they often move or in some way grow or change over time. They also might eat or drink or have other needs. Things that are not alive generally stay the same over time and don't need anything and they don't move. Keep looking out for living and non-living things around you, and I'll see you all soon. Bye from me and the bumblebee.